Many apps require users to enter some kind of input. Perhaps they're setting some preferences, perhaps confirming where to pick up a car, perhaps ordering some food for a menu or whatever your app wants. Now SwiftUI has a dedicated view type just for this purpose called a form. Forms are scrolling lists of static controls like text and images, but they can also have user interactive controls like text fields, toggle switches, buttons, and more. We can make a basic form in SwiftUI by creating a text view inside a form like this. I'll get rid of the current body code and say text, hello world. And around that, put form. Now you see preview pause. I can press refresh here or press option command P to do the same thing. So if you're using Xcode Canvas, you can see straight away it changes quite dramatically. Before we had hello world, the globe icon in the middle, but now it's on this sort of slightly gray background here uh, with white text, hello world, uh, white background, hello world here. Um, what you're seeing here is the beginning of a list of data, just like you have an iOS settings app, for example. We have one row of data here, which is the hello world text, but we can add more freely and then us appear in our form one row at a time. So I just paste the same thing three times, We'll have three hello worlds with a very thin sort of gray divider between them. In fact, you have as many as you want to. We could say, let's do uh, three, three, and three more, and then another one. So that's 10 right now. So it works really, really nice. If you want to split your form up into visual chunks, you can do that too. Um, settings is the same thing, by the way. We could say, I want a section here of just this hello world. Like that, see a little break appears. And another section here with uh, three more hello worlds and another one with the remaining hello worlds like that. And you'll see we get this nice divisions on the screen. There is no hard and fast rule when you just split forms up like this, it's down to you. It's just there to group related things on the screen.